Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. There's a cat. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today we are doing another weekly spread, but we are doing Dutch doors this week. I've been watching so many videos of people doing Dutch doors in their bullet journals and I just wanted to give it a try. So without further ado, let's get to it. I'm starting off by showing you how I did my Dutch door. I have a disbound journal, so what I did was I took two pieces of dotted paper and pasted them together to make them a little thicker, and then I cut them down to the size that I wanted and measured out where the holes would go, and then I took a pair of scissors and cut slits in the holes so that it fit in my journal. Now I am outlining the pages for the days of the week, and I add a border around all of the pages just to make it fit cohesively. After I did that, I added boxes to each side of the page. One side is for work and the other side is for yoga. Now I'm going through and writing in the days of the week. I'm starting with a yellow water brush pen and then I'm going to go through with my orange and add the little flare on the bottom to give it an ombre look. And then after that, I'm gonna go through with my Papermate flare and add a shadow to each of the letters just to make them pop out a little bit more. I wanted to start journaling more in my daily spreads, so I like that there's a lot of extra space for me to do that. Next, I'm working on my work in my yoga calendars. So for these, I took my hexagon template and my orange papermate flare and added a little half hexagon to the side here and I colored it in with yellow and added the days of the week. And I did that to the yoga side as well, but I did it on the opposite side. And now I'm writing in my header. I used um, a few templates for this. Uh, there was a letter template and then there was a template with some arrows on it So I added that as well just for a little extra Decoration to the page I finish off with a mini calendar in the corner there And I add my foot stickers and that about wraps up this video If you enjoyed it go ahead and give it a big thumbs up If you have any questions or comments you can leave those down below If you happen to make any recreations of this you can tag me on Instagram My information can be found in the description and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love bullet journaling as much as I do. See you next time, guys. Bye!